Alright, since I uploaded an incredibly long video <clears throat> a few days ago, I'm going to make a simple short video showing what's going on and how everyone's doing. So the Veil Tales are doing just fine. Also, you'll note that my uh, other quality has changed. I'm using a 5th generation iPod Touch. So the only thing that sucks about this thing is that it doesn't do autofocusing for videos, so I gotta constantly tap the screen. But in comparison to like using my DSLR or using my Android phone, this is a lot more simpler for me, especially for a video like this. So the Veil Tales are, are doing a lot; they're doing just fine. I'm still trying to figure out if who's going to pair up. I should put a few slaves in here and see what happens. But the Veil Tales are doing just fine. <clears throat> These guys are doing just fine. The water change seems to have done the trick. Though, speaking of water changes, I'll have to do the same thing to this tank pretty soon. My uh, flower horn has more or less gotten used to his tank. He's swimming around more often now. Water cat wants water again. My big guy is suffering another prolapse. So, I'm not going to feed him for a few days. If the prolapse doesn't go away after feeding, after not feeding him for a few days, I'm going to I'm going to treat him with clear. I'm also going to do a small water change today too. Also, the tank is kind of nasty and algae filled, so yeah. My female flower horn, and my flower horn, but uh, Betta is doing just fine. She's figured out where food comes from, so that's why she's acting a lot more erratic. And also, you can kind of see her colors now. She actually looks like a she's a She's a cool looking female. I'm very happy I picked her up. Even though her colors are kind of bland in comparison, she's still a pretty cool looking fish. And of course I got a case of water cats still. The 29 gallon tank is a lot less crowded. Now I only have what, four angel fish in here? Holy crap this guy's got even bigger. I'm quite amazed how big this one's gotten. Of course, she's still the king of big, or she, I don't know if it's a male or female. But the tank's a lot less crowded now, and it kind of looks more proper for what this tank is, for size-wise and whatnot. And, of course, all my little angel fish fry are doing just fine. Let's see if I can actually zoom in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Even though this thing doesn't do autofocusing, it autofocuses directly onto the angelfish, unlike my Android phone, which rarely, which rarely focuses properly. Also, you see that little flashing you're seeing right now? That's due to the uh, LEDs I have right here. The, it's due to the refresh rate of these LEDs. The refresh rate of the LEDs and the, uh, and the camera is actually about in sync, so that's why you see the uh, lines you just saw. Okay, that one didn't focus in properly, but 95% of the time, I, any Apple product is superior when it comes to autofocusing. Or focusing in general. And also, this iPod Touch is a lot less, lot less heavy than the other devices I was using. This thing's really light, so recording videos like this is incredibly simple for me. Even though the quality is not exactly up to par for what I like, I'll gladly take this over the uh, over a crummy Android phone that can't autofocus properly or whatnot. And I've already rambled, so I'm going to end this video here. But yeah, that's pretty much how all my fish are doing, how everyone's doing, and it's kind of an overview of what exactly I did in that big in that long ass video.